Okay, today I'm going to show you how to check the air pressure in your tires. If you're getting a symbol like that, that means one or more of your tires is low on air. And in order to get that to go off, you're going to need an accurate reading. And in order to get an accurate reading, you want to get a digital tire gauge. This would be something to invest in, right? For a couple of reasons. You need it to be accurate, but also if you, I have my own air compressor at home, but if you don't, uh, and you're going to like a gas station to get it filled up, you have to put in coins or however they do it. Um, now I'm not sure. Um, but if you have to put in coins, it's running and you got like two minutes or whatever, and you're running around your car trying to figure out which one's actually low. So before you do that, you just pull up, pull out your digital gauge, go around, and then you can know exactly which tire you need to fill up, right? Okay, so let's get started. You wanna make sure your gauge is at on PSI because that's what we use in the United States. Um, I think it's pretty standard. There's a couple other options and I'll show you at the end how to use this. Okay, so you wanna unscrew, unscrew that, the cap that goes on the end. You've probably seen that. You don't wanna make this too basic. Okay, so it says 31. So now we just take this end and we put it on here and we go like this and th there's a little gauge that comes out of here but it's, it's not that accurate okay so you want to get pretty close i normally keep mine at 34. It says 32.5 right now it's 34. there we go Put the cap back on. Okay, there you go. And then, uh, just so you know, you can find out what your tires should be kept at, what the PSI should be. There's two ways. You can, well, there's three ways. You could Google it. <laughs> you could uh, look in your owner's manual, or you actually, there's actually a, uh, another way you can look in your driver's side door you open it up, there's a little sticker there that'll actually tell you what the size of your tires are and then what um, the PSI is that's recommended for them. Okay, so now, if, as long as we get all of our tires matching at the, at the right PSI and then you drive a little bit, this light will go off. Okay, and so stay tuned. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a couple other things too. I'm going to show you where that um, where to find that uh, sticker and then I'm going to show you what the tires what the numbers mean on your tire and then I'm going to show you how to use this gauge all right okay I'm going to show you where you can find what the air pressure should be in your uh, driver's side door just inside your driver's side door never mind how dirty my car is okay no jokes about that all right, that's the sticker right there. And that'll tell you what the PSI, they recommend 32. I keep mine at 34, but it shows you the tire sizes as well as the, as well as the PSI. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you how to use this tire gauge because you wanna make sure it's on PSI. We live in the United States and I th think there's some places that must use the other ones. I, I've never even heard of them before. Uh, I had this gauge, so you just want to make sure you're on PSI. So you push this button here to turn it on. Okay, and right now it's actually coming up as PSI. You can see that right in the corner. But if I click on it again, it'll say BAR or KPA. You don't want those, right? You're going to get wonky numbers if you do that. So make sure you're on PSI, otherwise you're going to be all messed up. You got to start there, okay? Okay, I thought I'd go ahead and just throw this in uh, at the end of this video, just to tell you what the the numbers on the tire mean, in case you're in case you're interested. And when you go to buy a tire, they're going to ask you uh, not only the size of the rim, but what what size tire. They can figure it out based on uh, if you tell them the make and model of your car too, and what year. Uh, and then also in that uh, on that sticker in the driver's side it, it'll tell you the size of the tire too or in your manual okay so but just real quick just so you in case you're curious 215 means the width in millimeters of your tire okay 60 is the height percentage of the width so it's a 60 percent um it's 60 percent of that 215 which ends up in this case be 
129 millimeters because you can adjust that profile right um like the guys that drive around with a lot of bass playing out of their <laughs> out of their cars um they tend to have a, a low profile tire and because they look cool they just don't wear as long okay that's what that is the r is stands for radial and then 16 is the size of the rim in inches okay just in case you were curious i thought i'd share that